I don't know. There. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to get... Uh, can you guys hear me now? Showing it. Talking. Oh, my God. See? This is why. Live. Really? Okay, Chris. <laughs> okay. Well, we're, you get to watch me say all over again what I said originally. So this is my lovely studio in the upstairs of the CBK Needlepoint Collections uh, Wholesale Barn. That's yet another totally embarrassing thing. Never ends. <laughs> Uh, okay, you know, if it, if I didn't have a mistake like this, I would, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, here we go. So, I had an epiphany in the middle of the night, a week and a half before Christmas. And, um... I'll just say it now because you've already seen the ornaments, so spoiler. Uh, there was a post in um, the Needlepoint self-finishing group that was about, I have a round ornament and I want to make it round. And by doing that, I, I went... <laughs> kissing ball. That's all you can do. There's no way you can make a flat round, a round ornament. So then when I was awake at 4 a.m. a few days later, I started thinking about, oh my gosh, how can I make this happen? Why aren't we doing this already? I mean, we put bands on everything. We utilize belts on trays now. So I came up with, and you couldn't get a hold of me texting because I knew that my phone would ring and it would distract me and yeah. Okay, anyway. So I had some very lovely friends that stitched these so that I could I got a back pedal. Um, so that I could actually make the models because I didn't want to make, have them make the models if they weren't going to fit. So, you know, like I showed you on this one, I had to roll more of the edge over because this was too small. It's just a, it's hand blown. So it's just that little bit less than the band, but you can make it work. I mean, it's not a big deal. So, then I moved once, and Miss Mary McCusker is the one who stitched this. I'm trying to give everybody props for doing the stitching for me because it would not have been possible to do. So then um, Diane Shearer is the one who stitched this piece, and she did a beautiful job with just such a good variety of stitches, just beautiful. And now um, we're going to go on to, I'm trying to remember if I said anything else I wanted to make sure you guys knew. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be offering finishing of all of these pieces. As of April 12th, I will have my new website up. You can uh, print out a PDF that is that you can take into your favorite store um, to have them ship it to me. And I will finish your pieces for the 3D things. They have to be my design. It'll be the 3D bands, my lobster traps, and the 3D brick covers. 
Okay. So, next, um, I thought, well, if I've done this, and you guys saw a little sneak peek on the Learn to Paint of the little hydrangea basket. It's one of the shapes. There are nine shape bands. There are, which this is considered a shape as well. Um, originally, I was kind of just going to do these with, but then of course, the mind can't turn off and you start designing everything. I had also mentioned prior that you didn't hear that, um, that I had a huge block, creative block. I just was not finding anything. I just, I don't want to keep putting out white noise, doing the same thing that everybody else is doing. Now, yes, it's Santa. I mean, you can't really reinvent Santa all that much. Oh, the other thing that you didn't hear. This design has been redone to have the nine candles, not the seven. Um, yeah, that's what happens when I edit on the computer and I don't edit on hand painting it and figuring it all out. Well, I hand painted it to have the master sent out. But unfortunately, these are paper models because they're all at the painting company. Because this was such an epiphany so close to Christmas, there was no way I could have it done up in advance. I didn't even think of it yet. Okay, so the next one. I said, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do every style that I can think of to be able to do on a round ball. And it's just going to continue to evolve. So that led to the topper. And the topper was uh, stitched by Jennifer Stewart. Um, I have another one that was done that you will see in a how-to video that I'll be doing within the next week or so. And they are, <clears throat> um, they're kind of my favorite. They're together just like this. This is the canvas. Okay. And it's interesting because, um, oh, so this also has the bead trim. Okay. I really appreciate you guys turning out. I've made myself so crazy with anxiety and everything um, because this is like my little baby pet project. <laughs> Um, so then the next one, so I have, like I said, five, five different styles of this type of ornament. And then my last one, you guys saw me painting and it looks like this. It's interesting because I recently saw the rum barrel that somebody did, a 3D piece. And I was like, boy, that's kind of close to what I had done with this. And this was also stitched by Diane Shearer. Let's see if I can make her go the right way. So she looks like she's swimming around. So, this is my line. Uh, well, the sneak peek. This is the sneak peek I, because I can't put these out until after. I want to have the stores be able to post on their sites to show you the full line and to show you what kind of really fabulous goodies um, are being put out 
from everyone at the virtual needlepoint show. And yeah, I'm going to have to definitely uh, edit this. <laughs> edit this video out and attempt to uh, scroll back. I can at least. That's something I have learned because of uh, issues where I accidentally went live last week without it. So my favorite one, which is a shaped ornament, uh, I don't get to show you. I'm so sorry. So, um, do you, oh, about the glass balls. Just in case I didn't say it a few minutes ago, I these I do the glass balls because the seams that are on the shatterproof are just they're really distracting and they just look kind of cheap. So I am putting a link up on my new website that'll be up on the 12th for uh, all the resources that I have. Now I wanted to kind of talk to you about these in particular if you can see this is a clear glass ball that i have filled there we go with this roving that i picked up at michael's and it just was the perfect color it matched the tail and so it just was a really nice compliment and then this clear one, you can see it has glitter in with this fiber. It's a yarn that's just like a furry. And I like doing that because um, these other balls, they're um, a little expensive sometimes, depending on what you get. You know what? These come in one ofs. And they ran about twelve dollars. Um, actually, probably about thirteen by the time you get done with um, the shipping. And then, like with this one, because it's hand blown, the inconsistencies. It's a little tough when you're trying to do it, but you can fudge it. I will be doing how-to videos on this so that other finishers that want to do these as well, if you know someone and you want them to do them, or if you want to do them yourself, you can go on and um, check it out and do it yourself. There's so many things that we could expand on with this. And like I said, round ball covered. I've recently posted reinventing the egg. There's a reason. There's an Easter one that I have done, a shape one, and it would look great on a little egg, but it looks, it's covered differently than what we would do for the kissing balls and things like that. So, do you guys have any questions for me? Do you want to keep talking or should I kind of round this up? Because, yeah, I'm kind of there with, <laughs> with what I have to show you. Um, if not, that's okay. I will... <laughs> Thanks, Barbara Singer. Uh, great recovery. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to have to include some of it. Actually, Robin, the, Robin Bradley asked um, if the roving made it too heavy. No. It's, it's really light. It's really, and it's really fluffy. Um, I thought that it, I was worried about it, actually, but if it had started to get too heavy, I would have had to have punted and figured out another way <laughs> um, to, so I tried to do just glitter inside of this, but when you turned it, I, 
it was getting so heavy. If I filled gl with glitter up to the top, it would be way too heavy. It was just like, oh. And so then um, that's what, where the yarn came in. I sprinkled some, but then I put this really feather light yarn in it and it had no problem as far as when I put, I actually did try it. I tried to fill it with um, the glitter and when I put the topper on, it just went and fell right down. So yes, I did take that into account as far as that goes. And thank you for saying I'm so creative. It was just wonderful that this came to me at 4 a.m. when I couldn't sleep. Um, I got really excited when I started doing um, the bead trim because it just really makes it sparkle and pop. Exactly. Um, so somebody just was saying how you can paint the insides and let them dry. And actually I had done that as far as I started testing it out. And I thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to end up making myself crazy with some of these if I do that and I didn't want to show something that I couldn't repeat that was an accident um, maybe in the future I will just because if I can't find a color ornament mm, I think you're hearing things not five just four I'm sorry um, I wanted to make sure that I could have something that I could repeat easily and not something that had random and so unfortunately that's why I didn't do the painted ones. It's going to it's going to have to happen just because trying to find certain colors is like nigh on impossible. Did you large order the glass ornaments clears first? So um, I got a bunch of clear ornaments. They weren't that easy to find as far as to make sure that they were round, um, four inch round and that, so Hobby Lobby, I ordered some that said they were glass, but they came plastic. And I ended up with at Candles for Less I think it was had the best price and they were speedy and I only had one out of the th three boxes that I got that uh, one was broken out of those three it's it's tough that's why I'd rather try to get them yes um, so trying to get these, sorry, I'm trying to read and unfortunately my feed didn't come up on my actual screen. And yes, I will be doing tutorial videos on how to do all of these. So the clear glass, I was just going to do what you said. I was going to paint the insides. And then I kind of didn't like the finish that I was getting with some of it. Um, it just... Kind of, it wasn't deep enough and that really doesn't make sense the way I said it they just didn't look I don't know I just didn't, didn't care for them and I wanted to be able to get consistency because a lot of times you show something and then all of a sudden you can't get it or it doesn't look exactly like that and people get disappointed so if you're not able to get that then it just causes a headache if that explains that to you so um, yeah so we like I said I have a lot 17 total designs and um, hopefully some of the stores will show you the pictures over the weekend if not um, I will be posting them on um, 
well, posting my website on so that you know that it's there. CBK Needlepoint will have all of them on under their new section, as well as in the section for me. Um, we have a great line that's coming out uh, this weekend. And so, yeah, I hope that you will be excited to see the rest of them and that you think this is actually uh, something that you would like to stitch. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go with that. Um, yeah, 17 in since December, the end of December, I did 17 designs and got them sent out. But I'm going to let you go. All right, hold on. Somebody's asking a question. So to clarify, when I go to Stitching Friday, there are four different ball toppers and then one each of the bands. No, Robin, there are nine shape bands, which is this style. It's a shape band, okay? Then there's five different kinds of toppers. And then there are three different designs of the center bands. This was the last one stitched, and so I wasn't able uh, I wasn't able to get any more designed because I had to wait until this one was stitched. And Diane, who stitched this, did this in a week. Did all of these beautiful stitches in a week did this band. It's 13 by two and a quarter. And if you, um, someone's asking uh, about, um, so the, I will have the I will have a link to all the resources for where I bought these. Um, these came from uh, christmascentral.com, this one and this one. This one also comes in a perfectly round ball. It's beautiful. That's the one I got first, and it was a little bit bigger, so I sized it to that. And then when I found the onion, I was just astonished. I ask that you contact Stitch by Stitch Enlargement. So Stitch by Stitch is actually going to be attending the show this weekend. Uh, the show starts on Saturday, so they will be seeing that. And uh, Stitch in Time in Bethel, they'll also... Um, be at the show and they will see these they will see the entire line so they just have to go in and take a look and they can probably do a uh, screen grab and be able to show you the rest of them a little sooner than Tuesday um, yeah so uh, we have 135 different stores that are going to be attending the show and it's been a crazy week because we're just trying to get everybody's booths up and make sure everybody's not having any technical issues with it. It's a lot of fun week. And then I chose to do this in the middle of it. So um, I'm going to try to put out, uh, edit out, some of the beginning of the no sound and uh, I will put this link on to Needlepoint Nation and a few other ones so that if people didn't see it uh, they can watch it even the flubs because it wouldn't be one of my live videos if I didn't muck it up somehow. <laughs> the last time the camera didn't work in the beginning and this all happened because the camera that has the microphone on it, I unplugged it because 
I'm using my laptop. I was trying to do a split screen for you guys and have it have one be, you know, up close and detailed of just the ornaments. And so I liked my web camera a little bit better just for the depth of field and the frame fills the entire screen. So I had unplugged that and that's what had the mic in it. So yeah, the one thing I didn't think to test was the one that got me in the end. So thank you so much for joining me for my sneak peek of my designs and I look forward to hopefully finishing some of your pieces once you get started. So thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful night. Let's see if I can actually get this to stop streaming this time and not carry on after I walk away. You all take care and...